son de, son de, de bolitas así. No son de los que pasan en el hambrito así. Hi, good evening, everyone. Hi, good evening, teacher. Good evening. Hi, welcome, everyone. Welcome, welcome. Thank you for uh, joining today's session. It's good to have you here again, and I'm glad to be here again, too, with you all. Tell me, how are you? Today is Friday. We have to celebrate. It's the end of the week. We gotta celebrate. Look over here. Today, is Friday in the body now. Exactly, exactly, exactly. You are right. You are right. Yes. How are you? Tell me. How are you? How are you today? Good, bad, more or less. Excited, happy. Fine. Uh, Enjoying the weather. Enjoying the weather. Yeah, it's it's windy. Yeah, well, that's over, cool. here, over here, Sulutan is windy. It's windy. It's not. It's, it's not rainy windy. over here. Really? It's rainy over here. What, where do you live, Miguel? Ayaque, the Libertad. Oh, you're from Libertad. Yeah. yeah I'm, I'm from Sulutan. It has not rained, but it has been windy today. Like, very windy. Like, right now, it's windy. For okay. this morning, it was windy. It is cold. Actually, it yeah. is cold. Yes, it's kind yeah. of. <laughs> I mean, it's good. It's good. I prefer. I prefer cold than hot. You know. Yes. So, how was your day today at work? How was your day at work? Tired last as Monday <laughs> for me. What? Tired like a Monday. <laughs> Tiring, really? Why? Today is Friday. Is it relaxing? But, <laughs> but I feel <laughs> was um, a Monday. I don't know. I think because yesterday. Okay, I understand. I understand. <laughs> yeah, like today, I I went to school in the morning because we went back to school today, and I went to school and I thought today was Monday. And I, I told I saw I told my my colleagues, hey, see you tomorrow. But tomorrow is Saturday, so I, I was kind of lost. But I think it's because yesterday we had the day off. Well, I I did not work the whole week, and I, I I thought today was Monday. Yes, but it was a very easy day. Uh, it was just very very easy, very easy. We dismissed the students at ten a.m., and it was it was really cool, really, really easy. Yes, all right. Do you have any plans for the weekend, for Saturday and Sunday, or do you work on Saturdays? Who works on Saturdays? I'm work, Mauricio. Oh, I'm sorry, Mauricio. Wow. But do you work? Do you work the whole day or just part of the day, half a day? Well, I have the normal shift called my day off our on Monday and Tuesday. So you're gonna work on uh tomorrow and Saturday and Sunday, sorry. Sunday, yes. I'm going to rest on Monday and Tuesday. So you're you're telling me you're telling me that on December twenty fourth and December twenty thirty first you're gonna be working. Uh yes, but I don't have any problem with that because I I I just uh, uh buy something to drink at dine or to enjoy with my friends. And with my family, I just spend around 
two or three hours uh, while we eat the the the, the Christmas food, and mm. only that. Uh, I don't have. I don't. Uh, I I never do something special with my family, or my religion. But uh, in, and oh, my well. mom, uh, my mom has a little business, and oh, I spend right. all day um, doing that. Um, I don't have any problem to work. Uh, in fact, probably I'm going to get a Sunday and Monday the next month to rest. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to change with uh, friends. My friend lives around through uh, around three hours uh, to San Salvador, and yeah. I'm going to give you the the favor. I'm going to give you my my Sunday, and and him will give me. Uh, his Saturday. That's a good deal. Yes, because I don't have any problem with that, and uh -huh. I'm going to. Yes, yes, I don't. Uh, uh, I remember when I started to work when I was when I when I was uh, four years old. And I never, I never enjoyed the Christmas normal with other families with other families. Yes. I understand. I understand. Wow. Well, uh, we. Over here in my house, we do not normally celebrate it, but uh, I don't know how I don't know how it just happened. But my family is is has become uh, closer now, so we are planning to celebrate something like have a small party with the family. We have never done patties over here. We are not the type of family that that uh, throws out patties, but this this year we are planning to to do some different yes. Maybe it will happen. I don't know. Yes. All right. Uh. Well, there are how many are we right now? We are eleven. Uh. Mario was telling me here in the chat that he's still working. I don't know who's working. Let me know through the chat if you're gonna be available or not. Please. Oh, in the meantime, started. sorry. In the meantime, I'm going to take attendance. Let me do that right now. Diego Josue Benitez. Leiva. Elizabeth Stephanie Vasquez Ramirez. Good evening, teacher present. Thank you. Good evening, Stephanie. Stephanie. And yeah, yes, Elizabeth. Yes. I yes. want to let you know that this weekend, uh, well, Tomorrow, I had to present my final project because I am in my last uh, module of the university. So I am yes. working on that in this week. So uh, that is the reason I was not able to participate. But tomorrow, I I hope to be, uh, but, well, I hope to finish my presentation. And for the, na for the next week, I hope to be able to participate. Fantastic, fantastic. Well, I wish you good luck with this project, with the, with the, whatever Thank you're you. doing, I wish you the best. Yeah. <laughs> Thank finish. you. All right, all right. Thank you for letting me know, Elizabeth. Thanks. All right. Uh, Emerson Alexander Lopez Lopez. Present teacher. Thank you. Eric Enrique Reyes Martinez. I don't see him. Oh, he sent me a text earlier. Yes, he's driving or moving around. I'm not really sure. You will say I'm let Villalta, Villalta. She's not here. Carla Ivania Anaya Ancheta. Katia Maria Gonzalez Alvarenga. Hello, present. Thank you, thank you, Katia. Luis Fabricio Tobar Ramos. I haven't seen Luis. Present. Oh, yes, he's there, he's there. Thank you, Luis. Excellent. Luis Javier Castillo. Javier is not here. All right. Magdiel Esaú Garcia Morales. Present. Thank you. Thank you very much. Marilyn Alejandra Grande Pérez. Present. Thank you, Marilyn. Mario Ernesto Ramírez López. He's there, but he's working. Mauricio Edgardo Soriano Ramírez. I'm here. Thank you. Rafael Alberto Herrera Moreno. Here. Hello, Rafael. Thank you. Raul Edgardo Muñoz del Cid. Present coach. 
Hey, what happened to you, Raul? We did not we did not see you on Tuesday and Wednesday. Sorry, coach. I I work. I worked. All right, all right. You were working. That's okay. Ronald Alexander Vasquez Diego. No. Okay. Very good. Very good. All right. Uh, let's begin. Thank you guys for joining today's session. It's Friday. Thank you, Mario, for saying present. Yeah, I, I see your message now. Thank you guys for joining. I know it's it's sometimes it's difficult to be here. You know, it's it's very late. We finished the class very late. Why is this thing making noise? And uh, hi, I know you, it, hi, hi, Leo. I'm here. All right, all right. Thank you, thank you. Yes, don't worry about it. <laughs> I got you. I was telling you that that you're you're putting a lot of effort on this. I know you're tired. You might be sleepy, hungry. I don't know. You might have a headache and everything. Uh, but I'm glad that you are here. I really appreciate your effort. Well, let's begin. Uh, we're gonna start by doing some kind of review about the grammar topic that we studied on Wednesday. That grammar topic was uh, reported speech. I don't know if you guys remember that. If you remember, good. If you don't remember, that's okay. We're gonna review it. Yes, let me <laughs> make this bigger. Why is this not moving? Here we go. All right. This is today. Uh, this is class number four, four, or day number four, or session number four. All right. Oh, before I forget, I need you guys to continue working on the platform. You have to cover the first section or the first unit by Monday. You gotta be finished, or you got you. Uh, you have to be done with the activities of the first unit by Monday. Today is class number four. So on Monday, you're going to have class number five, which is the end of the first unit. So that means that you have to finish or you have to be, you have to do uh, unit number one or section number one by Monday. All right. I'm just letting you know, maybe you will have some time during the weekend and you can work on it. That would be perfect. Yes. Please, please work on it. The reason I'm telling you this is because today I got a message from from my my boss, and uh, he she told me that that you guys, what to tell you guys that you have to work on the platform, and you gotta be doing the activities or working on the activities right after class, and that has to be done the last day of the week or the last day of the unit. Let's begin. Look at this. I got this code. It says, "Can anyone read it?" Who can read it? Me, teacher. Thank you. Go. Your future is created by what you do today, not tomorrow. What do you think about this, please? That is true. Future okay. begins uh, today. The actions right. uh, we do in the present uh, becomes, uh, becomes our future. Exactly. You're right. You're right. Very good. Very good. Guys, do you have any opinions about this? Your future is created by your by, by what you do today, not tomorrow. What do you think about this? Anybody there? No? I have an opinion. Okay. No um problem. maybe because sometimes we say tomorrow I will do it and we never start it so we have to do it today for the things that we really have tomorrow yes. all right thank you for your opinion uh, thank you very much that was that was a good one who else I think the chair that um we are looking for the the results but it's more important the, the process you know Mm -hmm. All right, all right. That's a good one. I'm not religious or anything. I'm I, I'm not really religious, but even the vibe the Bible says that we should not worry about tomorrow because tomorrow is not ours. 
we do not know if you're going to be living tomorrow or going to be alive tomorrow. And it says here that your future is created by what, by what you do today, not what you're going to do tomorrow, because tomorrow doesn't exist. Not yet. You don't know. <laughs> you don't know, right? So, guys. Yes, teacher, we have the immortal condition, exactly. uh, immortal. Uh, um, we think that we are um, immortals. Exactly uh, right. We we are we are always uh, counting with tomorrow, but we don't know if tomorrow will come. Exactly, we don't know about tomorrow. We say we say that we're going to do things tomorrow, but we don't know if tomorrow is gonna is gonna be for us. No, we don't know. It's just life is like that. You know, you have to do things today, people. So if you want to learn English, good English, want to be a good speaker, do it today, not tomorrow. Yes. Don't say, I don't want to practice today. I will do it tomorrow. I don't want to learn any a word today. I don't want to practice anything today. I will do it tomorrow. Do it today. Do it today. All right. Yes. Okay. Let's begin with report speech. Oh, before that, uh, I have a definition for report speech here. Some words that I want you guys to, to practice. Review of report speech. This is a grammar topic. This one, we studied it on Wednesday. Reported speech is a grammar topic that helps report what another person has said. Yes? And uh, reported speech is not really complicated. What what complicates people or students is the 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 the, the change of the tense. That's what what uh makes many people feel uh overwhelmed by this topic. But uh, you have to learn learn the the uh the tense how it goes how you change it with every tense, and well pretty much you have to practice a lot. All right. I got some verbs here, five verbs. You might know them, you might not know them. That's okay, I will review them. Merge, withhold, withdraw, wither, and downplay. Do you know them? Do you know any of those? Or any of them? If you do so, let me know. Merge, withhold, withdraw, wither, and downplay. I don't know anyone. You don't know any of them, okay? That's Me okay. either. All right, it's fine. It's fine. It's not a problem. Uh, not a problem. Withdraw. I think it's the process when you take out money from the cashier. That is from the ATM. With the ATM, yeah. And merge. It's um. I don't have, but it's like when you're mixing something. Well, in programming, uh, merge is used a lot of in databases. Okay, okay. You got it, you got it. It's, it's pretty much what you said, yes. All right, let me give you a, a brief definition for each word. Oh, by the way, uh, if you see the word, the, the letter in parentheses, that means what kind of verb it is. For example, merge is a regular verb. That means that in the past form, it's going to take a D or an ED. In this case, merge just the D. Withhold is an irregular verb. That means that we're going to change it. But in this case, it's just one word changes. The, the letter O changes to E in the past form. Withdraw is an irregular verb. Wither is a re regular verb. And downplay is a regular verb. What does merge mean? Merge means, as Emerson was saying, combine. Combine. It's a uh, very used when companies join forces. When companies join forces or two uh, businesses or two stores or two places join forces. Uh, let me see if I can think of an example right now. Uh, let me see. Well, uh, like I don't know when, but we had a uh, Kona over here in El Salvador. It's not a company. It's just a. Uh, uh, organization, Kona and uh, Lepina right now, it, they have they have merged. I mean, they have joined forces. Now it's Kona Pina, right? That, that's what merge is. I cannot think of a company or companies that have merged right now. Uh, I don't know. Companies that have merged. Cannot think of any, right, anything right now. But
But but merges to combine or to join. If we're talking about businesses stores, it means join to become one, to become only one. They're not going to be two companies anymore. If if they merge, they're gonna be one company. All right. Yes. It's like like uh, Dragon Ball Z, Vegeta, and Goku when they join and become only one. All right. So merge. The past form, I'm going to put it next to the word right now, merge. The past form is merge. All right, that's the past form. Withhold. What does this mean? Well, every company, all companies, pretty much all companies, when they pay, oh, especially the, the is, is the, the, the insurance company, the IFP company, AFP, and uh, what else? And the rent company, they withhold money. Withhold means retain. Retain money. Retain money. That's what withhold means. You you get uh, your money, your money gets withheld every month. I don't know how much how much money the, the companies withhold from you. Uh, from me, the companies withhold around uh, one hundred fifty dollars, fifty dollars rent. Uh, IFP in the, the insurance company, they withhold like around one hundred thirty dollars from my payment. Do you understand what withhold is? Yes. Um. Yes. For example, when you pay something, for example, and you you say you're your account your digital account you can say the the um, your money withhold i think that that it is Something in some like in some in some business in some business exactly yes so but it's, in, a, in other words retention yes yes retain like they retain your money yes like rent ifp and seguros they they take money they take money from your payment but they don't really take it. They withhold it. Yes. Oh no, we, we will we will we will never enjoy that money, but okay. <laughs> maybe the rent amount the rent money, yes. You get it. Oh maybe. You no. Uh, every year every year I'm going to pay the, around two or three dollars. No, the rent money, no. Rent. The rent money? The rent. You get more money with the, at the end of the year, but well, the next year. Oh well. Well. Yes. <laughs> All right. Let's go with withdraw. Withdraw is an irregular verb. It means to take money. That's one definition. To take money out from the ATM. You go to the ATM uh, outside Agricola Bank, outside outside the Vivienda Bank, any bank. You go to the ATM and you withdraw your money. You put in your 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 card, your code, your password, and then you take your money out. Instead of saying take out, you can say withdraw, withdraw, right? Yes. Another word, excuse me, withhold, uh, sorry, withdraw can also be used in other contexts. For example, when you are in a competition, when you are in a competition, you can say, you can say, hey, I withdraw. That means I am going to abandon. I'm going to go. I don't want to compete. I withdraw. Okay, I withdraw. You can use it in that context too. Withdraw is the past form because we're going to use it later on. Uh, wither. We have changed the vocabulary here with wither. Wither is is not like really about about merge, uh, withhold, or withdraw. Wither has to do with plants, especially roses or flowers. Wither is when you do not when you don't put water when you don't put water in the plants. What happens? They wither. They wither when you don't put water or or uh, fertilizers on the plants. They die or they wither. Wither. The past form is withered with ED. Withered. All right. Do you understand what it is? 
with her? Yes, when the flower yes. dies slowly. When exactly? Yes. Let me help you out in the chat mod. You can ch go check it out over there. And the last one, downplay. Downplay is to. I heard my mic. My... Downplay is the past one. Downplay, how can I tell you? Minimize. Minimize. That's the synonym. Minimize. Make something less important. Minimize. For example, you can, you can, uh, maybe you have some errands to do. You downplay some of them. It means that you pay less important importance to some of them. You minimize them. Downplay is minimize. All right. The past form is downplayed, as you see. So merge, merged. Withhold, withheld. Withdraw, withdrew. Wither, withered. Downplay, downplayed. All right. Questions. Questions. No, okay, it's okay. Now, let's continue. And this is what we have, this is in the book. We already read this part over here, but let me read it to you again. It says there, look at the, look at the examples in the box, then complete the exercises below. We don't have any exercises, okay? We don't have that. But it says here, to express a third, per, uh, sorry, to express, to a third person, the, the words that somebody has said. We use reported speech, all right? In reported speech, we express what somebody has said in our own words. In this case, we make some changes to what the person has said. The, the change there is with the, with the verb, the verb changes. Mauricio, do you have a question? No, I just have to mention that I'm going to do something very quickly and, and I don't have an option to participate in okay, uh, okay. for two minutes, only that. But let me know, let me know when you're back. Okay, thanks. When you get back, yes. All right. It says that after the responding verb, it is possible to use the word that. I was telling you on Wednesday that the word that is optional. If you want to use it, if you want to remove it, that's fine. Both are correct. If you have it, fine. If you don't have it, also fine. Example, experts say credit cards offer protection from identity theft that debit cards don't. Experts mentioned that, if you want to use it, fine. Credit cards offered protection from identity uh, theft that debit cards don't. What's the difference? I told you that the difference is in the verb. That's where you get it, where you see it. Look at the verb here. Where is it? Where is it? Offer is the verb. And if you want to report that verb, because that verb is in the simple present structure or simple present form. If you want to report the simple present tense, you have to report it or you have to use simple past. So you change the verb to the past form. That's all, all you do. That's all you do. Let's continue. When we use report speech, the verb tense of the sentence often shifts back. Example here. A YouTuber says manufacturers' websites have important information about products online. The verb here, the verb here is have. All right, that's the verb. That's the verb. Yes. So that means that we we're going to change this verb into the past form. We find it down here. A YouTuber said that manufacturers' websites had important information about products online. Let's take a look at another example. A friend suggests credit cards are a better option than debit cards for online shopping. Right? The verb here is are. We do not have another verb. The verb is are. 
we're going to change R to the past form. The past form is down here, were. You can see it. A friend suggested that credit cards were a better option than debit cards for online shopping. Now, before we continue, before we continue, I will show you what we can use to report. Excuse me. All right. The the most the most common verb that we use to report is the verb say. The verb say, but it goes in the past form, of course. So I'm going to put it in the past form. There you go. You have it in the chat. Said. We can also use the verb tell, but in the past form. I'm talking about reporting, reporting sentences. Said, you can use said, a friend said, my friend said, my mother said, my mother told. But when you use told, you have to use a person there. My, my mother told me and uh, the rest of the sentence. You can also use the word or the verb suggest. Suggested in the past form. Recommended, which is the same as suggested. They are uh, synonyms. And mentioned. Okay, it's another one. Mentioned. We can use commented. Commented in the past form. Okay, those are some options. All right. Yes. Now, do you have any questions? If you don't have any questions, we're going to continue uh, with the next part. Questions? No, I got it. All right, all right. Thank you, thank you. Okay, no questions, let's continue. Let's take a look at the following exercises. So I do have some exercises. Look, look at this. I do not have the answer. Okay, wait, where is it? I, there you go. I do not, I do not have the answer. You are going to give me the answer. I'm going to write it down. All right. Yes. First, the first one. The CEO. The CEO says, I merge my companies when there is bankruptcy. I merge my companies when there is bankruptcy all right yes i need you guys anyone i need a person to help me out reporting this sentence take your time it's okay take your time think about it once you get it here tell me let me know I merge my companies when there is bankruptcy. How do you report this sentence? We are still talking about simple present changing to simple past, all right? Hi, teacher, I can try. <laughs> okay, tell me. Okay, I merged my companies when there were bankruptcy. Okay, but you're forgetting one thing over there. What are you mm. forgetting? You're forgetting the CEO and you have to change the person. Oh. Mm. Okay. But, uh, uh, okay. Again, again. Katia. <laughs> Sorry, I was a mute. Uh, the CEO, mm -hmm. the CEO merge the companies? No. When, no. The CEO said. Ah, sorry, said I merge my companies? No. You have to change, you have to change the person. Because over there in the in the sentence, it says, I merge my companies when there's bankruptcy. Mm -hmm. You have to change the person, not I. You have to mention who said the sentence. In these cases, he. So the CEO said that uh, he merged. He, uh -huh, exactly. 
Immerse. Their companies. Their companies. His. His companies. When there were. Mm -hmm. Van Roxy. Okay. Now we have a mistake. Just one uh, small little mistake right there. Okay, the CEO said, if you want to use that, good. He merged his companies when there were bankruptcy. But we're not using are, we're using is. And the past form of the verb is, is not work. The past form is was. So we erase this. And it's still past form. Still past form, yes. So now it is correct. Let me go and uh, select the verb merge. And there is another verb. The verb is is. So if there are two verbs in a sentence, you have to change both verbs. But, but I mean, there has to be some kind of word here like when, which, because, uh, until, etc. Merged once, All right? Very good. Thank you, Katia, for helping me out. Let's continue. I have more examples. Another one. Oh, accountant. Oops. Sorry, an accountant. An accountant. All legally registered companies withhold money from payments. All legally registered com registered. Wait, my mistake. It is frozen. Okay, again. Uh, all legally registered companies withhold money from payments. People, tell me, how would you report this sentence? The verb is withhold. Tell me, tell me. All, all legally registered companies withheld money from payments. Okay, you said it right, but you forgot one part there. An accountant. Said. Because you're, you're reporting what the person said. So that means you have to mention the person. Oh, yes. Can I try another time? Yes, yes, of course. Okay. An accountant said. All legacy, all legally, sorry, registered registered companies withheld money from payments. Okay, look, an accountant said all legally registered companies withheld money from payments. Yes. The difference is the verb. Then we have we have pretty much the same the same words. The only difference is that we're using the verb with withhold in the past form. Thank you, thank you for your participation. Let's continue with the other one. There are more examples. Look, I have sorry. I always withdraw my money as soon as they pay. I an employee, right? An employee says. I always withdraw my money as soon as I as soon as they pay. Yes, that's the sentence. How will you report this sentence, people? We have Me, two words. Okay, Sorry. thank you, Luis. Yes, try, Luis. Okay, um, an employee yes. told me. Okay. Um, he always withdrew, drew, withdrew. Así sería. Yes. He always withdrew uh, his money mm -hmm. as soon as they paid. 
exactly. There you go. You have to change the two verbs. Withdraw and pay. All right. An employee told me, if you want to use tail, that's fine. Perfect. An employee told me that, if you want to use that, also okay. He always withdrew his money as soon as they paid. Yeah, perfect, perfect. Thank you, Luis, for your participation. I'm here again, right? Thank you, Mauricio. Welcome back. Now, another one. Oops. Another one. Look at it. My gorgeous roses wither when I don't water them. My grandma, my grandma says, my gorgeous roses wither when I don't water them. How would you make this one? Or how would you report it? Sorry. How would you report it? Uh, my grandma told me that she, that her gorgeous roses with her red when she don't water them. When? When she don't, when she, uh, she uh -huh. doesn't water them. There you go, hold on, let's see, let's see. When she doesn't water them. All right, let's see. Over here, we have two verbs. The first verb is wither, and the second verb is water. What does water mean? Do you guys know what water means? Yes? Yes. All right, all right, perfect, perfect. So, over here, we have the verb wither and the verb water, but take a look at the verb water. What do we have before the verb water? We have an auxiliary. An auxiliary, the auxiliary is don't. So in this case, we are not going to change the verb. We are going to change the auxiliary. Meaning, doesn't is not correct. We got to put doesn't yes. or do in the past form. Yes. And that one is? Eric? It's didn't in this case. Exactly, no. exactly. Didn't. That's the one. Didn't. Yes. So, my grandma told me that her gorgeous roses withered when she didn't water them. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right. Let's carry on. Let's carry on. And I think this is the last one. Yes. Let me see. Yes. Event planner. We downplay the importance of events. I think it should go with S. Got the S over here. Let me save it real quick. And let me bring it back on. All right. We downplay the importance of events in which we do not get the down payment. Again, we downplay the importance of events in which we do not get the down payment. Yes. Let's see. Let's see. How would you report this sentence? We have two verbs. But the second verb goes with the auxiliary. Tell me, anyone. Hello? Okay, I will try. All right. Thank you, Eric. Go. Uh, even planner said we don't we don't downplay the, the importance of events in which we we did we we didn't got the down payment. 
All right. Down. Down payment. Okay. An event planner said we downplayed the importance of events in which we didn't got the down payment. Remember, in the simple past form, when we use the auxiliary did either in questions or negatives, we do not use the past form in the verbs. Okay? So I repeat. If you I'm guys sorry, in this yes, is is get. Exactly, exactly. There you go. There it's you the go. same la, like the last example. Exactly, exactly, yes. As the previous one, exactly. So remember, if you are if you're talking about simple past and you have the auxiliary did either in negatives or questions, you're not going to use the past form in the verb because the past form is already in the auxiliary did. Right? So again, again. An event planner, sorry, planner. An event planner said that we down, downplayed the importance of events in which we didn't get the down payment. Do you know what down payment is? Down payment. Yes. No. Oh, yes. It's something like a. Uh, uh, the money, the money we that we re receive for as a salary, I think. Okay, something like that. Something like that. And when you put some money uh, into an account for another one. Okay. All right. How do you say cousin in Spanish? Cousin. <laughs> It's like, it's, it's cousin in Spanish, down payment. All right, let me give you an example. If you want to buy a, uh, a laptop, let's say, and this laptop is, it costs $2,000. 2000 yes. And by you, you cannot pay, you cannot pay that money all at once. And you want to get it in, in uh, uh, on credit, on credit. You want to get it on credit. I mean, to pay every month. But if you want to do that, you have to give a down payment. It means that you have to give them some kind of deposit, okay, or the initial money, some kind of deposit to the company so that they can give you the product. For example, you can give them $200 or $300 as down payment. I bought, I bought a motorcycle three, or four, three, four years ago, or five years ago. I bought a motorcycle and as a down payment, I gave them $1,000 and the monthly I was paying uh, 63 or something like that. So down payment is like a deposit you give them at the beginning. Yes. In Spanish, cousin. <laughs> and that's what you say, cousin. Exactly. I will, I will say you that. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Right. All right. All right. We got it. Very good. Thank you. Let's continue, and now we're gonna practice. We're gonna practice. Give me a minute. A minute, a minute. Okay. Okay, I'm back. My apologies. I was getting some, some uh, gasoline, <laughs> some coffee, right? Okay. So, uh, I was telling you that we're gonna practice for a couple of minutes. I mean, report speech, and we're gonna do this. I'm going to choose two people. One person is going to say the example in the simple present. I'm going to ask the other person to report that sentence by asking by asking him or her, what did she say or what did he say? And then you report, all right? Let's begin. Let me choose Raul Elgardo. Are you available for participation?
tanong. I think not. Okay. Uh, let me see. Eric, are you? I'm here. Okay, Eric, and uh, let me see. Let me try with uh, Magdiel. Magdiel, are you there? Yes. All right, all right. Magdiel, give me an example, but in a simple present, using simple presents. Anything, anything. Magdiel? I, I was thinking. I... Yes? It doesn't matter the vocabulary. It doesn't matter. You can say, okay. I I eat a hamburger in the morning. I eat, I eat. whatever you want to say. All right. It's okay. Yes. Can I try? I think Matil is thinking. All right. Mauricio, Mauricio, think about it, Mauricio. Think about it. Oh, well, yesterday I ate my my hamburger in my house because my girlfriend doesn't want to eat in the restaurant. Okay. <laughs> yes, yes. The example is correct. But I want you I want you to tell me an example using simple present in the present. Okay, I I ate my hamburger in my house because my girlfriend wanted wanted it. No, that's simple past. Is it eight? Oh yes. Okay. Let me give you some examples. You can say you can say this. I call I call my sister on the weekend. Simple. I play soccer with my son every day. I work on the computer in the morning. I text my mother every day. I see my doctor on the street. Anything. Yes. Uh-huh. People tell me. Tell me. Participar? Okay. Marilyn? Yes. Okay. She plays with her cat. Repeat it. She plays with her cat. She plays with her cat. With cat. her cat. Okay. Eric, what did Marilyn say? Okay. She said that she played with her cut exactly she played right in the past form excellent now you eric say something and marilyn is going to report it okay i have my dinner right now okay repeat it i have my dinner right now uh -huh. right now okay in let me at let me see uh, not right now, no. You can say, I have my dinner next to me or in front of me. Because if you say right now, that it is uh, that is uh, present progressive. Yes. Okay. Okay, I have my dinner in the middle of class. Okay. Marilyn, what did he say? I had my dinner in the middle of class. Repeat it. I had my dinner in the middle of class. Yes, excellent, excellent. Thank you, Marilyn. Very good, very good. Thank you, Eric and Marilyn. You did it very well. All right, let me try with two more people. Uh, Miguel, are you ready now? Yes, I'm ready. Idea? Yeah. Yes, okay. 
Mauricio, ¿te sabes la guía? I don't know. Yes, yes. Okay, okay. Miguel, you give me the example using simple present and, my, and Mauricio is going to report it. Okay. My mom says always that you go out with your friends, you should bring me something. Repeat it. Okay. Mom, my mom says always that you <clears throat> that you go out with your friends, you should to bring me something. Okay. Well, very good, very good. Now, Magdiel, uh eliminates always that. Instead always. of always that, use when. When I, when I go out or when you go out with your friends, you should bring okay. me Mom says, oh. when you go out with your friends, uh -huh, you should bring me something. You should bring me to, no, you should bring me something. Okay. You should bring me something. Okay, yes. very good. Mauricio, what did Magdiel say? Mauricio. I'm going to talk him on mute. Okay. Madiel said his mom asked something when he go out. Repeat it. Madiel said his, uh, his mom asked has something when he go out. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. Now, Mauricio, you say something and Magdiel is going to report it. Okay. Perfect. Um, my sister recommend me to study two hours or more every day. Magdiel, what did he say? Uh, could you repeat me, please? My sister recommend me I have to study two or three hours every day. Mm, try okay. saying my sister, my sister recommends studying. My sister recommends studying. Okay. My sister, yes, my sister recommends studying two or three hours every day. There you go. Your sister recommended recommended you study it two or three hours. It is okay, teacher. Every day, right? <clears throat> yeah. Your day. sister your sister recommended um study it two or three hours. A day. Okay, two or three hours a day. Yes. All right. Thank you for for uh, sharing and helping me out with this one. Let's see. Let me choose two more people to see what they say. Let's see. Well, two volunteers. Let's see. I need two volunteers to practice. Me, teacher. Okay, we got Luis Fabricio, and who else? Me, teacher. And uh, Emerson, okay. Fabricio, you start. You give me the sentence using simple present, and Emerson is going to report it. Okay. Uh, uh, a friend says uh, that the movie theater is really funny. Okay. Emerson, what did Luis say? Can he repeat the sentence again, please? I think so. All right. A friend says that the movie theater is really funny. 
He said uh, a friend. <laughs> a friend saw a, a weird movie that it was funny. Repeat it, please. His friend said that the, that the movie theater was funny. There you go. Yes. A friend said that the movie theater was, was, was funny. All right. Yes. Yes, we got it. Okay. We, we might continue practicing this topic later on by the end of the session. Uh, now, we're going to continue and let me share the book with you all. And we're going to do just three three things here in the book today. We're going to work on part number one, part parts number one, part number two, and part number three, and maybe part number four. Let's see. Uh, I will be able to identify tips for success in a passage about the founder of a successful online business. We're going to read about uh, uh, some later on. So... What are we going to do later on? I'm going to split well, this. All right, but let's start with the questions. How can online shopping help small businesses grow in a competitive market? What, what makes an e-commerce business successful? So let's discuss these two questions. Let me repeat the first. How can online shopping help small businesses grow in a competitive market? Or what makes an e-commerce business successful? Let me give you a couple of minutes, maybe two minutes to think or to just organize your ideas, think about what you can say, and then you, you share your ideas. If you have your ideas right now, perfect. You can share them. You can express yourself. Yes, think about some ideas. Uh, yeah. Okay, ready? Any ideas? Uh, me teacher, well, I think the online shopping business uh, could help in order to get lower prices to to find a rent at a place rent you know because every we are we are you're saving money because you're not uh, renting a, a physical place so I think that was one uh, well maybe that could be successful because you know all you can reuse or distribute the money for the rent for another things related related to the sh to the shopping mall okay all right thank you for your opinion emerson excellent excellent anyone else anyone else how can online shopping help small businesses grow in a competitive market? And what makes an e-commerce business successful? Those two questions. Mm, I, uh, um, I think that uh, the um, the e-commerce school could help small business because they are not dependent on physical space, for example. Uh, uh, I think that it's not necessary 
uh, to get a physical store and all the investments the the the, the this implies. So uh, I think that the commerce is a uh, is a more accessible uh, a more is the the uh, online business have a more accessible platform to um to contact the client is not necessarily a, a a physical space again to uh, to um to sell to the, to the clients and what makes an e-commerce business successful i think that the 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 service i think that uh, this lies uh, because uh, if you are talking about a retailer maybe sometimes it, the people go to the sell uh, to the to the for the experience to to buy physical, but if you if you have an e-commerce, all uh, all dependent on live platform. I think the 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 most important is the the quality of service. The mm -hmm. is is the most the the most important the important the quality of service the the delivery on time the 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 kind of attention if they if they ask you something uh, uh, how many uh, uh, how much time do you you um you give an answer and uh -huh, the 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 client service i think that is the, is one of the most important okay that's a good one that's a good one thank you Ronald, for your participation very good opinion very good opinion i can say that yes yes all right Let's see, let's hear more opinions. Tell me, tell me. Guys, we are here waiting for more opinions. Hello? Good evening. <laughs> Let me see. Let me ask people directly then. I was uh, asking for volunteers, but you don't want to volunteer, so let me go directly. Let's see. Katia? Can you give us your opinion about these two questions? Thank you. Um, I think that a good idea to have uh, owners, small owners, like a customer experience um, about the details. Uh, for example, the biggest company uh, don't care about the details, but if you have a, a small company or small market uh, if you focus your customer experience in details you can make a big experience for the customers mm -hmm. all right okay very good opinion thank you katia for for sharing it with us okay thank you very good very good let me see all right let's see let me try with uh Fabricio, what about you? What can you say? Okay. I think, uh, uh, like my classmate said uh, a couple of minutes ago, um, that the important thing really is the, uh, the attention um, to the uh, details. Um. The companies, uh, I think that they um, don't put attention to, to the consumers, to the clients, mm -hmm. like a small business who wants to to reach them. Okay. Um. What uh, makes an e-commerce business successful, I think, um, 
I think that the companies can uh, uh, put ads in many places uh, like social media. Um, online sites uh, where you can buy, uh, I don't know, something like that. Okay. That's okay. That's okay. Very good. Very good. All right. Thank you for your opinions. Uh, let's continue with the second part. The second part, we're going to do it in groups. So I am going to take you to the breakout rooms. There are going to be four people in each group. So maybe we're going to have only two groups. What I want you guys to do is the following. It's a survey that you, the, the uh, well, let me read it. Answer the questions in the chart. Then go around the classroom inter interviewing at least three classmates. But we're not in a classroom right now. So we're going to take you to the breakout rooms and we're going to do the activity there. So what you can do is this. You can organize yourselves in a group one person can ask three people and then another person, the three people, and then you can continue like that, all right? And you're gonna ask this person these five questions and you're gonna write the check over here, okay? But, but, but what you can do is this, you can write the name of the person right up here, for example, Fabrizio. Uh, right up there, Fabricio, for example, and then you can draw a check or something like this, okay? Yes. Have you heard about a website named Alibaba? If he hasn't, if he hasn't heard about it, what you can do is place an X right there under his name like that. No, all right? Fabricio, 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 and Fabricio. And this is for another person. All right, that's what we're gonna do. So I'm going to give you a couple of minutes to, to answer the questions, all right? Let me create the groups. Uh, we are, okay, we can, we can do three groups, but there are some people that are not available right now. For example, Mario is not available. Elizabeth is not really available. Carla, I don't know because she hasn't told me anything. And Julissa, I don't know. And uh, Rafael, I think she's a, uh, he's a listener today too, so. Let me see what I can do. Let's see what I can do. Okay. If there are if there are people that cannot participate over there in your groups, don't worry. If there are only two that can answer perfect, that's not a problem. All right. Let's go and do that. Wait, do you have any questions about the activity? No. Okay. Each one has to ask to the others. Yes. And then another person and another person. Okay. All right. Let's go. Let's join the groups. I just created the, the breakout rooms. So go. I will see you there, people. Go, go. Join them. Join them. Join them. Well, I I think 
I think we can read the questions and answer it by our, ourselves. Go, Fisher Mao. Hi, I'm here. Uh, anybody go get 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 the, the question could you please send the picture through the chat uh let me see if i can do that yes i can do it let me share them and we need to share a screen if you want to it is available yes oh, okay thanks i'm going to share all right let me know if you can see it Yes, yeah. you can see. Yes. Thank Let you, Megan. Okay. So uh, we're going to start. Okay, so the first set. Emerson. Yeah. Okay, so have you heard about a website named Alibaba? Yes, I I heard I heard about it. Okay, me too. But uh, we're going to write it. Your your I'm sure. No, just just like a check. Or Y for yes and N for no. Okay. Yes. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. It's perfect. And also you, you, Miguel. Who's sharing? Miguel, right? Oh, yes. Me too. Amy too. Okay. I will be back. Let me go see what's going on in the other group. To buy something. Okay. And the other. Well, hey, in uh, my case. Yes, yes. Can I? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. In my case, I I watch a publicity on social media about Alibaba, but only I can see that they uh, show show us a uh, panties or lingerie, something a uh, something close by by woman something like that and another in other cases they show and uh, shoes but when you when you look for it uh, is less expensive but if you you go to the the it's cheaper. Uh, cheaper. Yes. yes, of course. Okay. It's cheaper in this case. But it's a it is is how can I say it is when you you go to the, the website, not it the same price. I don't know. Yeah. Why? Why? That is it. Uh, no. Um, for, with these pages, and um, the problem is that when you go to to watch the product, you see the price, the original price. But when you uh, order this, or you add to the basket, you can see the price add to the 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 liver and that's the difference uh, in the price 
for example, you 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 say a a case from for your uh, phone, um, around two dollars, and you put it in your basket, and when you are going to buy, you say four dollars, the double, and you say why? But it's the deliver. That's the reason. Yeah. That's the reason why. Case, you, you, yes, yes. In this case, it isn't an, an offer. <laughs> is the price is only. Uh, let me see. How can I say? Uh, is the bait for us? Yes, but is in some cases, you know, because um, in some products, uh, there are a... <laughs> They sell uh, spare parts. What happened with the check? <laughs> <laughs> very difficult to write on a PDF document. Really? Wow. Yeah, it is. But you can use annotations. Let me see if you can use annotations. I think it's available for you guys. It's available to you. You got the options. But it's okay. The third one. Marca de verificación. The number three, who is the founder of Alibaba? Well, I heard the Jack Mac. Jack, yeah, it's right. Mac, you read it. I didn't know. I didn't know. <laughs> you're cheating. Mad. You're cheating. It's right. No. It is down here. I only know that. <laughs> I only know his, his, his last name and also know that he tried to get a job in, I don't know, maybe like uh, 30 companies and all these companies yeah. would get him. He has so many motivation, motivational videos. <laughs> and I don't know if he doesn't pass the university. I don't remember if he, but I, has a I, tragic I, pass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, poor guy. Oh, not poor. <laughs> not poor now. Yeah, the fourth. Do you know anyone who has shopped in Alibaba? Well, not me, but I bought in AliExpress because uh, Alibaba is for people that selling um, B two B. Yeah, B, I don't know B two B, and okay. and in Alibaba is only for business to B two C. Uh-huh, yeah, consumers. So in the fourth one for me, no. You know, honestly, I do not know anything about Alibaba. I, I mean I know the the, the 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 thing because I have seen the ads on YouTube, but I do not know what they sell. I don't know what they sell. They, they they sell a lot of things. Is it like, is it like a lot like, of things? Like, I mean, a lot, lot, a lot of things. Is it like eBay or something like that, Amazon. Like an eBay and Amazon, but always no. uh Ch Chinese brands. What's the other one uh that that was famous a long time ago? Wish. Um. Yeah, I think Wish. I think that one is up here. And the, and there's another one, but it's it got focused on uh, clothing. AliExpress? Chain. Oh, Shein. 
I don't know how, how to pronounce it, Shien or Shane. Uh, ah, Shane. I, I don't actually, know. <laughs> I, actually, I actually did some research a long time ago because I was kind of confused. There were some people saying Shine, Shien, Shen, I don't know, Shine, Shen. So I did my research and the correct pronunciation is Shien. Shien. Oh. Although some people say shine, and uh, I was also doing some re more research, and they say they say that shine is also correct, mm -hmm. and uh, chain might sound correct, but uh, the correct pronunciation is she and she ends because okay. uh, I was kind of reading the story of it. It's the the, the subject she and the preposition in together she and. Mm. No, that's that's new for me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Go on, go on. I'll be right back. Rejected ten times. And so I feel that like he has a uh like a like a, his uh he's like a motivational speaker and, and, and give this and give this kind of of conferences about and and motivation about uh, about never give up so something like that and I have heard about how he's uh how he's an uh, an inspirational figure uh, about this to uh, to to never give up and to continue and to continue trying to to get an opportunity. Okay. I, okay, I didn't know that. It's like John Cena shows in his handkerchief, never give up. Mm -hmm. Okay. Are you guys done with that? Think... With that yes, I think that we are finished. Mm -hmm. We are done. Okay. Uh, I don't know who's going to share the, the opinions later on. Okay. Sure. Yes. Okay, very good, very good. What did you send? <laughs> Amazon. I don't know what that is. Okay, we're gonna go back to the main session right now. Well, let me see if the other groups have finished. Okay. Right. Just cut and paste it. Or, or do a screenshot too. Uh-huh. Yeah. Are you ready? Mm. Still working on it, but. Trying to write the last question. <laughs> but I think so. <laughs> okay. So let's go back to the main session. Over there, we're going to share our results. Let's go back. Okay. See you back there.
Okay, we are back and ready to share our results. Okay, let's see. The first group is going to share uh, the results. The group is with uh, Diego, with Eric, Raul, and Ronald. Okay, teacher. Um... <clears throat> questions. Yes, uh, in the first uh, question, um, we all of our, well, um, our three, yes, así ever, nosotros tres. Us three. Us three. Yes. Us three, um, uh, we know uh, what is Alibaba. Okay. The other question, the other question, and then the two that says, the um, what, in the second, what type of product service services does Alibaba sell? Um, we, we know, we know that um, I don't remember the names, but one friend says that Alibaba uh, is like uh, the Chinese Amazon. And the other uh, told us that um, he um, he is what no I don't know. he saw the the ads in the in the in Facebook for example and <laughs> he think that Alibaba only sells like um, uh, ropa interior underwear. Underwear for for women because uh, he told us that in the in the ad or in the publicity, um, there are only appears um, uh, tongues and something like that. Yes, yeah, I understand. Um, I I don't know if I read the the all of of the questions i don't know you tell me okay the the third one uh who's the founder of alioba i don't remember the name but um a friend that is uh, i don't know the name but i remember the the last name that is diego i think like like me uh he told us that uh who's who's the who's the founder of oh. Alibaba and is a millionaire of China from from China. The other, uh, do you know anyone who has shop at Alibaba? Um, no, the Austria than uh, than now. And the the last, do you know any business tip from the founder of Alibaba? And the same. Uh, a classmate told me that um, the founder has a book, uh, wrote a book um, telling to the people the tips for get money, I think, or to, to manage a business. Okay, very good, very good. All right. Thank you guys for uh, expressing yourselves or giving your opinions or your points of view. I was checking, monitoring, and you were participating. All right. The other group with Emerson, Luis, Magdiel, Mauricio, and Katia. Guys, are you going to share the screen or, or what? No. I think it is not necessary, <laughs> but okay. I don't know. Okay. Okay. Um, the first question, uh, Everybody has uh, heard about the Alibaba. Mm -hmm. Every every person in the group. Uh, so the second question: <laughs> We think that Alibaba sells maybe everything because it is a B two B model business. Um, we found the. They sell a lot of like uh, jewelry, furniture, um, 
skincare products, cosmetics, sports, things, and maybe the well, maybe the, the all you want. Mm -hmm. And the third question, um, the founder of Alibaba is Jack Ma. I don't remember exactly the last name, but I think that is something like that. And for we don't well, we don't know uh, someone has shopped at Alibaba. And the five, um, we talk about uh, Jack Ma has uh, many motivational videos in the social media and things that he said that was uh, never give up, believe in the young talent. Um, as a, a small business owner, you need to to think without limit. And that, I think that. I don't know if my other partners want to share something. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, well, practically in the the four the four question, uh, well, me myself, I didn't shop in Alibaba, but I re I previously do shopping in AliExpress. That is a uh, as the same. It's a C C T B platform. It's, uh, and, and belongs to the same founder from Alibaba. Okay. Only that. Okay. Very good. Very good. Thank you for saying that. Katya mentioned something very interesting about well, what what uh, Jack Ma has said about about not giving up and uh, about believing in young people. You know, they have a lot of talents. Young people, I mean. Now. Uh, let's carry on with the part three. It's a reading. It's a passage about this guy, about Jack Ma, and how he came up with the idea of Alibaba and how it, it became a thing. Yes. Let me read it to you. Uh, let me know if there are any questions about some expressions, vocabulary, and pronunciation. I will help you out at the end of the reading. In uh, 1999, after leaving a government job, Jack Ma grouped 18 people, including himself and his wife, and sold them a dream to found Alibaba with the goal of facilitating international trade for small and medium enterprises based in China. In the early stages of Alibaba, Ma tried to raise funds in Silicon Valley. The tech, the tech hub in the United States, and was met with denials. And his business model was criticized to be unprofitable and unsustainable by many at the time. In 2003, still unprofitable with Alibaba, Ma and his team launched, I think that's incorrect, launched an online auction site named Taobao.com charging zero commission and took on a multinational e-commerce giant, eBay. Determined to win, Taobao remained a commission-free marketplace for millions of online traders, and that did put Alibaba under significant financial strain. To stay afloat while maintaining the platform's commission-free policy, free policy, Ma and his team began offering value-add support services, for example, passing web pages to online merchants for small fees. Ma and his team won the Chinese market in less than five years. And eBay subsequently withdrew from China. Alibaba, a 15-year-old e-commerce company that has its origins outside the United States, is now one of the world's largest companies as measured by its market capitalization, approximately 2000, sorry, $200 billion. $200 billion. Jesus, that's a lot of money. <laughs> well, all right. 
All right, that's the story. Now, uh, are there any questions about the vocabulary? La launch is here is incorrect. Mm -hmm. It's they lounge. have to they have to give us a piece of of cake. Yeah, they should give us a million at least. A million is nothing for them. <laughs> right. Oh wow. Okay. Do you have any questions about the vocabulary? Um, there's a word in the third paragraph, in the second line. It says uh, that it put Alibaba under significant financial strain. Financial it's a strain. strain. Strain pressure. Oh, pressure. By financial pressure. Oh, okay. What pressure is? Pressure? Yeah. Okay, strain is a synonym. Yes. Oh, okay. And uh, also, strain can be used for, for when you have, when you are stressed. Instead of the word stressed, you can say, hey, I feel strain on my, on my shoulders. It means you feel stressed or you feel pressure. So strain is the same as pressure. Yes. Oh, what okay. else? Okay. Yes. What else? Hello, no more questions about the vocabulary? Question, uh, and profitable is non-productive. Yeah, like, like it doesn't generate any money. It doesn't give you any money. Okay, thanks. Mm -hmm. What else? For sure, uh, what is the pronunciation of in the First part of the last uh, the last, the last uh, when say close to unprofitable and unsustainable. Ah, unsustainable, sustainable, unsustainable. Okay, let me see. Sustainable, and with this. Unsustainable. Unsustainable. Unsustained. Sustainable. Sustainable. Okay, okay. Thank you. Guys, what else? Let me see. Let me mark some words and I'm going to ask you what they mean. Uh, let me see. Race. We got Tech Hub. See more criticized. Well, okay, we got that one. Option name. Uh, took on is a phrase of verb take on. Seven to last in place. Remained. Traders of uh, afloat. I think we got all those are the only words. Uh, subsequently withdrew. Okay, let's begin with the first one. That's what. What does race mean? What does race mean? Race. First word that I that I uh highlighted. Race. Do you know what, what it means? To recollect money. Mm, maybe get uh, money from people who wants to to join in the company. Oh race? Race is the same as saying increase increase for example we need a salary raise raise the same as increase so this person ma tried to increase his money his pounds not collect 
all right okay yes raise is to increase to increase okay it can be money or you can raise you can raise physically you can grow physically you can raise a baby as well or a boy or girl tech hub what does tech hub mean what is this do you have any ideas? Have you ever heard of it? The tech I think hub? that tech is from technology or techno technologic. Uh, how is, uh, I don't know, it's like a center. Okay. All right. Yes. It's pretty much the tech hub is a place, it's a place that worries about technology, technological revolution. That's what it is. And the Silicon Valley is, is a place that has a lot of uh, or the best technological resources and they worry about the technological revolution around the world. All right. Uh, denials. What is denials? I didn't ask you this one. Denials. What is it? Denials. What is it, guys? It comes from deny. Okay, it comes from the word or the verb deny, okay, or negate, negate, right? That's what ne denial is, okay? Negate, negation. All right, very good. Awesome. Took on or take on. What is the phrasal verb take on or what does the phrasal verb take on mean? Do you have any ideas? It says there, uh, in 2003, still unprofitable with Alibaba, Ma and his stream launched an online auction site named Taobao.com, charging zero commission, and took on so took on a multinational e-commerce giant, eBay. What does took on or take on mean? Uh, maybe uh, how do you say overcome or to uh go higher than than a competitor okay something like that something like that you're getting close you're getting close okay let me tell you what it means it means compete compete or face face or compete take on means compete and compete it compete it with a multinational e-commerce giant ebay Okay, it doesn't mean over here. It doesn't mean that they beat that they beat uh eBay. It means that they competed. They competed against uh eBay. But let me show you a uh, definition right here, because you might not really uh, understand it like that. Oh, by the way, if you wanna get a good dictionary, get this one. This one is awesome. For reference, good dictionary. Look at that. Take take off up way the whole thing. I take on. Oh, uh, let me see. Oh, it's right here. Look at it. See, compete against, confront, and oppose. Look. Yes. All right, that's what it is. If you want to get synonyms, just go up here and just type synonyms. When I get like like the English synonyms, better to get the synonyms they got. Oops. Sorry. There you go. Better. Okay, uh let me see employed on this one now. Handle tackle on top or battle. But we don't have them over here to take on. Not good synonyms. Well, you get it, right? You get what it is. You get it, you get it. So let's see. What about remained? Remained. Any ideas about the verb remain? No? Mm, don't get confused. That one is remind. Reminder. It it is similar. Uh, this is um to remain it. It's like a how do you say the 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 verb in in English? Quedar. 
uh, is like a is still is still like a, a previous a previous model. Like it's uh, when something is new is when you when there's a previous version is uh, this version will remain. Exactly, exactly. Yes, that's what it is. It's when something does not change. Okay, it doesn't move, it stays, you get stuck with it, it, it doesn't change. Determined to win, Taobao remain. They got stick, they, they, they keep it. They keep it, or they kept it, the past form, they kept it. They didn't change the commission free market, I mean, the, the, the commission free, they did not change it. They remained it there because it was, uh, what was they giving, giving them the, the, the popularity, right? Afloat. What is afloat? It's like to stay relevant. It's like to uh, to maintain uh, a level, uh, a certain level of uh, profitability or of revenue. Uh huh. Not uh, go to bankrupt. Exactly. Exactly. You are right, Ronald. Excellent, Ronald. Thank you, thank you. Yes, pretty much to stay on top. Stay on top. Remain relevant, to stay up there, to keep your popularity, and you're, you're pretty much what, what Ronald said. Perfect definition. Uh, subsequently, what is subsequently? And we drew, I told you what we drew is. But subsequently, do you know what this is? Subsequently. No, it's like uh, uh, when you're saying in addition to. Okay, yeah, some something like that. Yes. Okay, let me help you out with this one. Stops. Oops. It's like a it's like a consequence when something happens. A consequence of, of that is is something we do right after. Follow the chat. That's what that's what it means. It says their mind steam won the Chinese market in less than five years, and eBay subsequently or after winning the 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 Chinese market, eBay had the uh, had to go. Okay. Yes. Subsequently, it could be. Go. It could be the eBay quit to Chinese market. Exactly, exactly, yes. Uh, a synonym for the word subsequently is a basic one after. Yes. And eBay after withdrew from China. Yes, subsequently. When I send the word in the chat in Spanish, you can check it out over there. Okay, all right. Yes, we got it. And uh, let's see more words. I think we got it. Okay. Uh, we are not going to, we're not going to read the paragraph. I mean, you're not going to read it. We're going to do it on Monday because we're going to continue on Monday. We got questions to answer. We got more vocabulary here to work on and more things to do on Monday. So, uh, what we're going to do is that I'm going to read the paragraph again. I'm going to do it slowly. If you have more questions about it, let me know. If you don't, that's fine. Okay, just listen, uh, listen carefully, listen to the pronunciation. And like I said, if you have questions later on, let me know. In 1999, after leaving a government job, Jack Ma grouped 18 people, including himself and his wife, and sold them a dream to found Alibaba with the, with the goal of facilitating international trade for small and medium enterprises based in China. In the early stages of Alibaba, Ma, tri Ma tried to raise funds in Silicon Valley, the tech hub in the United States, and was met with denials. And his business model was criticized to be unprofitable and unsustainable by many at the time. In 2003, still unprofitable with Alibaba, Ma and his team 
launched an online auction site named Taobao.com, charging zero commission. At, and took on a multinational e-commerce giant, eBay. Determined to win, Taobao remained a commission-free marketplace for millions of online traders. And that did put uh, Alibaba under significant financial trade strain. To stay afloat while maintaining on the excuse me, to stay afloat while maintaining the platform's commission-free policy. My and his team began offering value add support services, for example, custom web pages to online merchants for small fees. My and his team won the Chinese market in less than five years, and eBay subsequently withdrew from China. Alibaba, a 15 years old e commerce company that has its origin outside of the United States is now one of the world's largest companies as measured by its market capitalization approximately worth 2000 excuse me 200 billion dollars yes wow that's a lot of money a lot of money okay I wonder which companies are uh, which companies. Uh, let me see this. Check this out. Let me show you some. This is interesting. Can you see it? Yes. This is not million. Is it billions? No, this is not billions. This is. Trillions, I think. Jesus, two point seven trillion dollars. That's Apple, Saudi Aramco. I don't know what that is. Jeez, it's like some companies they have a lot of money, bro. You see that? Jesus, but this one, the first one, Apple. That's a lot of money. It is worth a lot of money. $2.7 trillion. Wow. Can you believe it, people? <laughs> Can you believe it? Only on my dreams. Yeah, just imagine. Almost three three trillion dollars. You won't you won't even you won't, like you wouldn't be able to spend that money, your family, your sons, the son of your sons. <laughs> they wouldn't finish that money. It's too much money. All right. Uh, neither. Guys, sorry. Neither Salvador. Uh, exactly. Worked, right. Working like twenty years. Exactly. You are right. You are right. Uh, actually, I was I I was reading this 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 piece of news a uh, while ago about. Uh, I don't know if it is SpaceX with Elon Musk. They want to bring a. Uh, they want to bring a. Uh, uh, an asteroid or or a meteor. To Earth, well, not really bring the the, the, the asteroid. They want to bring the what what is inside. Like there is gold. There are they, there are diamonds, and uh, it's very expensive. I don't remember the name of it, but very interesting. All right, guys, we're done with the with the class today. Just let me take attendance and uh, let me see. Katya, hello, can you stay? Yes, I'm all here. Right. Thank you, thank you. Don't leave, all right? Stay for a couple of minutes. Diego Jose Benitez. What happened to the other Can you hear me, people? All right. So, Diego, all right. Elizabeth Stephanie Vasquez Ramirez. Present. Thank you. Emerson Alexander Lopez Lopez. 
Present. Thank you. Eric Enrique Reyes Martinez. Here. Present. Thank you. Yulisa Yamilet Villalta Villalta. Carla Ivania Anaya Ancheta. Katia Maria González Alvarenga. Present. Thank you. Luis Fabricio Tobar Ramos. Present teacher. Thank you. Luis Javier Guzmajir. Magdiel Esaú García Morales. Present. Thank you. Marvin Alejandra Grande Pérez. Present. Mar Thank you, Marilyn. Mario Ernesto Ramírez López. Present. Thank you, Mario. Mauricio Edgardo Soriano Ramírez. I'm here. Thank you, Rafael Alberto Herrera Moreno. Here. Thank you, Raúl Edgardo Muñoz del Cid. Present. And uh, Ronald Alexander Vázquez Diego. All right, people, excellent. Today is, well, you know, it's Friday. It's the last day you have to celebrate and look with this. See, see you people on Monday. <laughs> have fun. For sure. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right, people, take care. Have fun and be careful, All right? See you on Monday. Have a good weekend. Let's see get drunk. Take care, everyone. <laughs> Thank you so much. No, Katia, don't leave, Katia. Oh, okay. teacher, teacher, sorry. Este, um, I didn't say my name. I didn't That's say okay. present. I got it. Don't worry. Don't worry. Thank you, I guys. I got a call. All right. No, pro no problem. No problem. Bye-bye, guys. Thanks. Thank you. Thank Bye, you. teacher. Thank you. Good week uh, weekend. Thank you. Thank you, you too. Have a good weekend. Hi, Katia. Hi. Sorry. Okay. Uh, Katia, we have a couple of minutes to discuss to discuss any of your your questions, any of your doubts, or confusion, or complication that you have, or that you might have with uh, with Report what it. we have what we have seen, or any other English topic that you're confused with. I'm here to to help you out. Tell me. Ah, okay. Um, for example, the the today's exercise, like that, the yes. report. But I I think maybe I didn't understand so good. But now I feel that it's better. <laughs> the comprehension, well, comprehension, no com com comprehension. I don't know how to say comprehension. 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 Okay, thank you. So. so uh, uh huh. Yeah. You're telling me that it was difficult for you to understand the topic at the beginning, but now you you understand it better. Yeah, yeah. Cause I didn't uh, understand the the way that I I needed to change the the bird and the person. I think that I, I didn't understand the the instruction. Okay. Okay. Yes. Sorry. <laughs> no, okay. Please, uh, I did not explain well. Okay. Uh, do you have any questions in general about what we have seen or any other topics? No, I don't think so. Not for the moment. Not for the moment? Okay, <laughs> yeah. very good. Uh, let me ask you this. Do you have any recommendations, I mean, to improve the sessions, to include activities, uh, because uh, what I'm doing is, you know, I'm following the program, but I would like to hear opinions from you guys if you want me to include activities or to do some uh, extra exercises besides what we have in the book. Uh, well, I welcome every recommendation or any any recommendation, sorry, or any suggestion that you ha guys have. So tell me, do you have any recommendations or suggestions? Okay, I like the, the way you, you make your class. Uh, I think it's very interactive. Uh, you, <laughs> you don't let us to sleep or do something that is nothing to be in class. And for me, that is good. So we need to start uh, very, 
well, um, I don't know how to say, mm, focus, focus mm -hmm. in the class, focus. but focus. I, focus, focus, okay, thank you. But for example, I think, mm, well, today is Friday, uh, so okay. maybe you, you can do something, uh, at least a little bit, a bit something different, uh, mm -hmm. aerodynamic or... I, I don't know, something that you, you feel that, oh, okay, it's Friday and today we do this, for example. Uh, yeah. uh, something like that, uh, just that. Yeah, yeah, no problem, we can do that, we can do that. Oh, for yeah. example, uh, Christmas is coming, and so do something about that, I don't know, the the, the songs maybe, <laughs> or vocabulary okay. about the, the Christmas, the, well, like the... Temporadas, the seasons. The seasons, yes. yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we can do that. Actually, actually, we're gonna have we're gonna have some days in which I'm going to include extra activities. I might include some games or some mm -hmm. uh, some dynamics, as you said, uh, because we're gonna be here for five weeks. Well, four and yeah. one one extra day, four mm -hmm. weeks and one day. So there's going to be there's going to be five days in which we will not have material to cover. I mean, from the program, and those five days I can bring extra things like games. Uh, I do have one game that is very very good, uh, very interesting. It's called uh, Jeopardy. It's it's very fun. So I might bring it next week, you know, to review some topics. It's it's a lot of fun. Yes, I I can do that without ah, problems. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yeah, for me it's good the, the way you jump for your class. Okay. Thank you for saying that. Excellent. Uh, uh, the reason I ask for recommendations and, and uh, suggestions is to improve the sessions, to make them better. Yes. Okay. Uh, thank All you right. to you. Let me let me help you out with something. You were saying the, the this 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 verb. Okay. Please look at this. If you can see it. Yes, yes. I see. This. Focus. Okay. Focus. 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 Right? Focus. Okay. Okay. Sometimes, 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 and many times, this letter is pronounced as you, right? Mm hmm Yes? Yeah. Yes? Yeah. Sometimes it is pronounced as A, like an A, like mm -hmm. umbrella. Right, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. with with a reunion, re you you reunion. In this case, it's not like that. It's neither of those. It's focus. It's like an e. Well, uh, in uh, in phonetics, English phonetics, it's called schwa. Schwa. This inverted e or upside down e can can be letter a can be letter e letter i letter o and letter u and it's a uh, focus focus listen to that focus 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 yes all right focus. okay I'm sure you know yes all right excellent thank you okay thank you so much okay uh do you have more questions katya no, I don't think so. Oh, well, not for the moment. <laughs> okay, if you if you ever have any questions about anything, just let me know. You can uh, send me a message through the WhatsApp group or you can uh, chat with me directly. No problem. Yes. I can help you out with anything. Uh, well, uh, thank you, Katya, for staying. It, it, was, it was a pleasure to help you out. To be here. I will see you on Monday. I wish you the best for the weekend. Have fun with your family, friends, or whoever you're with. Take care, <laughs> all right? And see you Okay. Tomorrow. Thank you so much. And the same for you. Have a nice weekend. Thank and you enjoy this. I will. I will. Thank you. Okay. Right. Thanks. Good night. Good night.